Retail sales were better than expected, up 0.4%. And as we count down to the holiday season, the National Retail Federation is forecasting record spending once again. Between $979 and $989 billion, that's about a 3% gain from last year. Matt Shea is president and CEO of the NRF. He is here this afternoon. Matt, it's great to see you. I have to Kelly. say that the holiday projections I've seen are somewhat muted compared with the actual spending that we're seeing in the economy. Why do you think that is? Well, it's a good question. The numbers we saw today from census, we did our numbers last week. The CNBC NRF monitor were a little bit more modest, uh, but the numbers today, 1.7 percent unadjusted year over year. Uh, our interpretation of the census numbers, which is X gas, X autos, X restaurants, uh, is actually 2.4 percent. Uh, the NBC C, uh, NRF monitor from last week was up about 1 percent uh, September year over year. So the numbers are good. Consumers are still spending. And, you know, there's a lot of firepower there. Surprisingly, we know the savings rate is way down. The pandemic payments have been uh, substantially whittled away. But inflation has come down pretty substantially from its highs in the last 18 months. And we're seeing real wage growth. And the unemployment rate, although it has ticked up modestly higher from its lows earlier this year, still very low by historic standards. So I think consumers feel pretty good about their ability to spend. That doesn't translate into consumer sentiment necessarily. Uh, we know they have the ability to have one attitude and another kind of action. So the attitudes are still kind of muted. Uh, but the real actions out there when they're engaged in commerce have been pretty substantial. And I think we ought to feel good about the way we're heading into the holiday season. Are the retail sales numbers you report uh, adjusted for inflation in any way? In other words, if you if you basically had the same level of sales and and prices rose two and a half percent from one year to the next, would you see two and a half percent growth in retail sales? Yeah, Tyler, it's a question we get. We got it earlier this week when we did our release and uh, over the years, a couple of your colleagues have asked the same question. So there is a there is an adjustment in there for inflation. So we're talking, you know, two and a half to three and a half percent. So Kelly's got it averaged out at three percent. Goods inflation is actually down about a half a percent uh, over the course of the last year. So what we're going to see this holiday season, we believe, is increased unit sales. Uh, there are going to be more units in the basket because these dollars are going to go further. And you know, because you watch this, a number of retailers have reduced prices on thousands and thousands and thousands of items. So on the good side, there are real opportunities there for consumers. There's still lingering services inflation. We know that remains a problem. We know that's been about housing, somewhat about uh, things like auto insurance and uh, rent and things like. But in general, overall inflation's down and it's down very much on the good side. And that'll be a great opportunity for the holiday season. Matt, in anticipation of the discussion we're about to have, if I told you that people were a little bit tapped out right now in terms of their credit cards and maybe some of you know, the older Americans who should be a little bit better off financially right now, what would you say about that? Do you think does that ring true to you? Why do you think that is and what does it mean? Well, you know, revolving credit um, as a percentage of household debt is about six and a half percent now. And that's that's really in line with what we've seen in the years before the pandemic, where it was about seven percent. So the revolving credit is pretty good. And overall household debt as a percentage of monthly income is about 11 percent. That's much lower than we saw, for example, during the recession 15 years ago when it was 15 percent. Uh, and it's pretty consistent with where we would be normally. We'd be 11 or 12 percent in the years leading up to the pandemic. So while the numbers are a little bit higher in absolute terms, uh, they're not higher, uh, relatively speaking, in historic terms, and they're certainly nowhere near uh, the levels where there ought to be great concern. So I think it's something to keep an eye on, mm -hmm. um, but it's not something that as yet has shown up in consumer spending patterns. Savings rates are about back to average, about 5 percent for whatever that's worth. We know some countries save a lot more, some save a lot less, but they're back to what's kind of considered normal for a U.S. household. So overall, households are in pretty good shape. There are a couple of uncertainties out there. One of them is going to happen in early November, of course. Right. You're paying a lot of attention to what that's doing to the market. Uh, how consumers will behave, I think, relative to what happens uh, remains to be seen. But right now, consumers look pretty good. Matt, thank you for your time today.